First reading, a reading from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 20, verses 10 to 13. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise to the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 10, verses 31 to 42. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, we are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, It is not written in your law. I said, You are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world, blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord My dear friends in Christ, Today we have a little crisis situation in the Gospel. That is, Jesus is being accused for his one deed on the Sabbath, where he picked up some cones and some Pharisees accused him. And he says that I have done so many good things for you, but you don't see them. That's exactly what's really happening with us, my dear friends. We sometimes, uh, I have heard parents uh, tell that we have done so many things for our children. Now they have left us. They have taken them for granted. Or they, they ask us, what have you done to us? Sometimes we, we, we feel, some people say, some group of people or association, we have done so much for this uh, village, but they don't really appreciate. Appreciation is, has, has, is, a, is not a value today, my dear friends. Because uh, some people are awaiting to find fault with us, to find mm, something, something wrong with us. So we need to be extremely vigilant and extremely careful, extremely aware, my dear friends, and be ready and prepared also 
to accept anything that comes on our way and then we should never get discouraged because sometime if uh, Jesus is accused like this we'll also be accused for many things that we will do for many things that we, we do for the glory of God so my dear friends let us uh, believe that Jesus you know, always stood on his feet because the father was the strength of his life the father was the stronghold of his life the father was the uh, only connectedness with him so my dear friends today let us pray that we also may attain a healthy connection healthy uh, connectedness with the lord that connectedness with the lord will allow us to face anything and everything in life we will never be able to you know uh, get discouraged we will never be able to get frustrated because when the lord is with us we will be able to tolerate and experience and anything that comes to us whether it is good whether it is bad whether it is worse whether it is uh, fine my dear friends we will be able to do that so let us pray today as the lord tells us to be uh, to hold and stand on our feet and on our ground let us pray that the lord will strengthen us to face anything and everything in life amen